In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Tebow the Ewok on the Return of the Jedi card. <laughs> Hello Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and welcome to my review of the Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Tebow. Tebow the Ewok on the Return of the Jedi card. It's great to have another Ewok in the line. Let's get Bosk out of the way so we can take a look at this fantastic card back. Of course, this card back was the exact same one used in the original Kenner days, so that's very nice indeed. He is on the yellow name pill with the yellow background behind the figure, and look at all those accessories packed into that bubble. This figure is actually a repack of the Tebow that came in the Toys R Us exclusive Ewok 5 pack, I think it was. I think you've got five Ewoks in there, and he comes with all of the accessories that he came with in that pack it's absolutely rammed full of accessories on that bubble so let's take a look at the back of the card he is vc207 in the line i have already reviewed lando calrissian and ig11 from this wave i'm not going to be reviewing the emperor because i already have the emperor from the exclusive pack with the throne and the only difference is, is the head and i don't really want to open that one i don't think there's much point i prefer the head that came with the one with the exclusive one so not going to be reviewing him but i will be reviewing tebow today we're going to be taking a look at this one and there he is in the bubble looking fantastic so we're not going to waste any more time we're going to crack this guy open and check him out okay so there's so many accessories that they come in two trays that one just fits behind that one in the bubble i think that's a really good way of them getting more accessories into these vintage collection figures so they could take note from that and do more with some other figures give them some more accessories but Lots of stuff to look through here, so we're going to get these out and check them out. All right, then, so we're going to take a look at Tebow with how he came packaged within the bubble. So there he is. That's one of his headdresses there with, like, the hog-type thing on the top. And it's more of, like, your standard Ewok cowl, which comes down right down over his chest like that. He does also have his horn accessory already placed on him as well. So there he is. Now, something that I didn't know about this figure is that this little leaf here is actually removable so you can take that out it's got a tiny little peg now all of these things are quite rubbery as you would expect and you can see just the little peg hole there for that once you've taken that out it can be a bit tricky to get it back in because it is quite rubbery you have to sort of get it at the right angle and push it back in place so so there we go i don't even think i've got that in fully as it is but um we're going to take this headdress off now and then we're going to take a look at the figure and then we're going to look at the other accessories and change them up with the other headdress so that's what tebow looks like without the headdress on always look a bit funny these ewoks without their without their headdresses on but now the thing that i don't like particularly about this figure is of course he does have the split at the belly now that doesn't usually matter with ewoks uh that aren't striped it's the ones that are striped that's a problem because as soon as you move that sort of away like that then the the stripes don't line up and he, he looks a bit odd that's the only thing i have with that split at his tummy but apart from that it's still a good figure packed of articulation for something so small i mean the head is on a ball joint so you just have to pop his head off there just so you can get the accessories off it just pops back on nicely so you get a bit of swivel there not too much else but the shoulders are on a ball hinge so they go all the way around he does have hinges at the elbows as you can see there which obviously swivel and just swivel at the wrists no hinge as i mentioned before he has that cut at the tummy and then he has hinges on the hips and then a little joint on the ankle there but that's really all you're going to need for your Ewoks. But yeah, as you can see, the paint deco is quite good. The face has been done well. The eyes are straight, the nose and the mouth and everything. And he has that sort of wash over him just to give him that sort of fur effect. And of course, the famous stripes of Tebow. There's his horn. So we're going to pop the head off and change the accessories. All right. So this time I've opted for his necklace and his knife sheath there, which his little knife that you get here, tiny tiny weeny knife i can just get that in focus that goes in there like so fits in perfectly so there he is with that looking pretty cool and then we're going to use the other headdress now which is the uh hog one which doesn't have the rest of the cowl that comes down over his chest it's literally just the headdress very very much like the one that you got with the vintage kenner figure pretty much exactly the same and once again it does have that leaf thing as well so I believe you must be able to take that out as well. So if you didn't want that, you just wanted him looking like that, you can do. 
Other accessories that he does come with, he comes with his little sort of mallet or axe. I guess that's an axe. Um, pretty cool. And he also comes with a set of drumsticks, which are there. Now, what I would say is that this guy is missing a spear. I seem to remember Tebow being the guy that sort of jabbed his spear at, uh, at Han Solo. And I feel that this figure really should have should have included a spear. Pretty sure the original vintage Kenner one didn't either. He had an axe and maybe that's what they were going for. But if you consider all of the accessories that they've given you. So all of these bits here. The horn. The feathers that can go and the extra headdress. I, I'm sort of stumped to why they didn't give him a spear. I'm pretty sure he should have a spear. But he's got a little knife. He has his little axe. And let's check out the axe. Let's make sure that goes in his hand okay. There you go. He holds that pretty well. And really the best thing about Tebow being in the vintage collection, not only are we getting that vintage style card, which is of course part of the original 96 Kenner figures, is that he can go with all the other Ewoks that we've got. We've already got Low Grey, Wicket, Lumat. We got Paplu earlier this year. Now we've got Tebow. So there's only a few others that they need to do from the original 96. Of course, we need Chief Chirper, we need Warwick, and we need Romba. So come on, Hasbro, give us the other Ewoks so we can get a nice little team of Ewoks together. But uh, I'm quite happy that we finally got Tebow. As I said before, the only thing that really annoys me ever so slightly is because of the paintwork, because he's stripy, the minute you do that, and move him he just looks a bit skew if and a look, looks a bit odd so i tend to keep him like that where his where his fur sort of matches up but there he is tebow the ewok and yeah it's just a great one to add to the line all right then guys so this wave is shaping up to be a pretty decent wave we've had ig11 we've had lando now we've got tebow i'm not going to be reviewing the emperor as i said but those four figures in one wave that is a pretty decent wave by anyone's standard so thank you so much hasbro and on to the next wave which is going to be even better so thank you so much for watching guys appreciate your time and if you're a member or a patreon special thank you to you as well thank you so much for the support and we shall see you on the next one. Thank you.